Greetings, my name is Mike, and do you keep yourself up at night wondering how you can throw a game? <laughs> well, fear not, because in this video I'm going to explain exactly how you can do that. I'm um, not too sure what this video is going to turn into, you know, um, we always have editing, right? So I can always edit out the bad <laughs> Before we start, I just wanted to say this is as a kind of a disclaimer that I'm not trying to flame anyone or harass them or talk shit about anyone here. It's just hopefully an objective video, which shows some mistakes that have been made and how and, and hopefully help you to to not make them in future so so just keep that in mind bit of context here this game i played recently as you can see it's quite even at this point we were doing quite well here and then we threw a bit there came back and stuff and then through some fights or whatever we we, we came to a sort of even point here and this is like uh, about 40 minutes so it, it's quite even at this point and, and quite a, a scary game where anything can happen so here we are pushing down the mid lane, trying to get some, some racks or something. And just go and resume, and you can see this is my player perspective. I see Pangalia on the minimap heading to the bot lane. So I think, I reckon he's going to go farm there. So I TP bot to try and catch him out. And yes, he does indeed appear there. Then I go on him with my ult, manage to cancel his ult with the inner fire somehow. I don't really know how that works. But it knocked him back and cancelled his ult. Then we just sort of chase him down, and he's a bit of a, a slippery one, but we do catch him in the end. And that is a big pick-off. It, it makes pushing a lot easier, because they don't have his swashbuckle to kind of kill our waves with. Try to hit the tower. Slark goes on me. I try to get away from him, try to kill the Dazzle. Let's go back to free camera. Slark is just going on me only, and... I can't do anything to him, so I just... I try to take someone down with me. <laughs> so I managed to to take the Dazzle down with me there, which is a, a decent kill, I think. The rest of the team is just doing whatever. Dazzle buys back. We do get the racks, which is good. You know, nice focusing objectives. Cool. We get the racks. At this point, Dazzle overextends a bit, so they kill him. And then, awesome, look at this. If I pause, you see Slark is back in 80 seconds. No buyback, and Dazzle 100 seconds, he just bought back and died again. So at this point, I was pinging like a freaking crazy person to go take mid racks. So Rubik and Morphling go there, which is great, well done. But then the other two stay around here and farm, like why? Why don't you want to go get objectives? The Treant even has a Meteor Hammer for pushing. But instead they get caught in another fight here, then the other two go and help them. Rubik goes down, he has no buyback. However, they do manage to, to kill two more. So look at this. How good is this? Four people dead with no buyback for at least 50 seconds. How much time do you think we need to take mid racks and top racks with the Morphling with like with insane damage? Look at that damage on Morphling. 350 or so. That's great. Go for the racks, please. I'm pinging it even more. Look at my pings there. <laughs> so the other the Treant goes there. AATP is back because he's low, and Morphling just like decides to dive the fountain and try and kill this Grimstroke. Right, he dives, kind of fails, so he heads back. But then he decides, no, 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 I'm too cool for school. I'm gonna go back in. And I'm gonna kill this guy no matter what it takes. But then he just leaves again anyway. And that was over a minute wasted trying to chase that guy. And then he heads to the racks. Well done! Now you can get mid racks easily. Now Slark is back in 10. I would have even tried to go for top racks here, but they just decide to, to back off. And we decide to go and rush, because we have good vision around, we can see them. So we go for rush. And here I'm saying, okay Morph, you can take Aegis, because you probably need it more than I do, you can do more damage and stuff. And then he mumbles something in his mic about Aegis, and then he just proceeds to deny the Aegis and the Cheese, which is like, what? At this point, we're like, what are you doing? You know, we're typing dot 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 in chat. He's clearly very confident in our win. Um, the rest of the team, not so much. AA is still dead for a little bit, but we figure he'll just throw in a, an ult from base. That's all he normally does anyway. So we're hitting the racks here, nice. But then Slark goes on our back line here, you know. Why would you have dust or sentries down with the Slark with the Silver Edge? And also the Windranger has a inverse talent, so why? You know, I wish these guys had, had detection so you could see the slot coming and, and initiate on him. 
But anyway, he goes on the tree end, tree end goes down straight away. I try to go on slot, but he just disappears, and I just try to hit stuff, but then I just end up getting burst down. And then everyone just dies except the AA, who has just respawned. And as you can imagine, this is not a great situation. The two supports don't have buyback. They're now, like, sorted. They're just going to head down mid and, and try and get some damage done. And we're saying to the AA now to get back here because it's not a great place to be in. But he ignores us and the Slark just picks him off. Not much you can do there. So he's also dead now with no buyback for 90 seconds. And how do we defend 2 vs 5? <laughs> Morphling and Huskar. So they're, they're hitting in the buildings there. Morphling buys back. He shouts at me to buy back as well. I'm like, what can we really do here? With 20 seconds left, I had to buy back. And then we try to delay them, but there's not much we can do. We get Grimstroke ulti, then we get double abyssaled, which is not really fun. I just die immediately. Morphling is just... can't do anything. Trian comes in. Throws down an ult. He uses a meteor hammer, well done. And then they just kind of end. <laughs> like, this was the saddest game I've played in a long time. Before we end, let's just take a look at the graphs. This is the, the gold graph. This is where we started the video here, at the even point. We climbed so high there, getting the Pangalia pick off, getting the barracks, two sets of barracks, getting Roshan. We were looking so good here, and then we had the shit fight after we didn't have Aegis or Cheese. And then we just lose because of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And that's just how it ended. Sad, right? <laughs> I hope, I'm just making this video to hopefully help someone and show you how to win a game with objectives. As we saw the Morphling diving the, the fountain there for like a minute or something, wasting so much time and instead of getting Omegas and then we don't have detection on the supports for the Slark who just picks us off and then obviously denying the, the Aegis and the Cheese as well certainly doesn't help. <laughs> so please just, just keep this in mind if you're trying to win, which we all are normally. Please just try and go for objectives and play smart. It's when you're ahead that you need to play smart and, and carefully. You don't need to take risks and do stupid things because that's how you lose. When you when you are behind, that's when you have to take risks and try and do crazy things to try and come back in the game. So if you're ahead, please just, just play well. Stick, stick as a team and go for objectives and use the Aegis. <laughs> Morphling could have used the Aegis so well. Going in front, hitting the tower, and then when he dies to the spells, we, we come in and back him up. Me on the Huskar could have used the cheese so well, it would have been so tasty. <laughs> but instead, no. He decides to be a cool guy and deny them both. Anyway, I think... I think that's all I wanted to say. Hopefully, though, this is, again, not to flame anyone or to point it out or to harass anyone. It's just to be objective and to show you how, how to not win a game. <laughs> so I hope that you've learned something and I hope... You were as pained as I was to see this. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and cheers for now.